everyone. I welcome to this edition of Live, Work, Play the Tech MV. My name is Anchata and I'm here today at the vibrant Tech Mahindra Learning World Campus. By now, we, have, we are familiar with these series. In case you haven't caught up with any of our previous videos, we encourage you to have a watch and explore the world of our leaders. In the meantime, let me familiarize you with the Live, Work, Play, the Tech Mahindra Way series. Our core values and our rice tenets form the DNA of Tech Mahindra and so it's important that all of us understand what it takes to stay true to them and what better way of doing this than hearing it from our leaders who live, work and play the Tech MV. This platform brings to you a series where leaders share stories and examples of themselves in their teens or even the leaders having lived the Tech Mahindra values and the rice tenets along with their exciting experiences of working at Tech Mahindra. I'm sure these conversations will help you appreciate their journey and take inspiration from the same. Today's guest on the series has over two decades of rich and varied global outsourcing business experience spanning sales, marketing, relationship management, strategic account management and new business development. Prior to joining Mahindra Satyam, he was a key member of Sintel's leadership team responsible for charting its growth in North America. His prior leadership roles include a long association with the HCL group spanning 11 years. He currently heads Tech Mahindra's North America operations as a board member of CitySoft and a key member of the transformation team helping the merger and amalgamation of Mahindra Satyam with Tech Mahindra. He provides strategic insights and drives the vertical-centric go-to-market differenti differentiated solutions to enable Tech Mahindra realize the strategic growth objectives. He also represents Tech Mahindra as a strategy officer in the World Economic Forum pre-summits, G100 group meetings and the Center for Global Enterprise. I'm excited to have with us Mr. Lakshmanan Chidambaram, fondly known as CTL, Senior Vice President, Sales and Operations at Tech Mahindra to live, work and play the Tech MV. Welcome CTL, we are excited to have you here. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Uh, so CTL, uh, Tech Mahindra has embarked on its transformational journey from being an IT provider to a digital transformation uh, partner. So, would you like to would like to know from you how the go-to-market strategy has changed from the transformation over the transformation? It's, it's, it's a great question. Now, Tech Mahindra, the way I describe Tech Mahindra is we operate at the intersection where information technology, business process, engineering, core engineering, telecom, and mobility meet. That's the intersection. Point number one. Point number two. We are fortunate to be living in a world where network, mobility, analytics cloud, security, sensors, all of them have come together, right? And 50% of our revenues are from telecom. And that gives us a very unique positioning in the market vis-a-vis -vis most of our competitors. So, in the Western world, actually all over the world now, when you talk about healthcare, it's not about sickness, it's about wellness. How can you keep a person from not falling sick? Right? And how can you prevent a person from getting into the emergency room? Because in a place like the US, or for that matter anywhere in the world, if a person gets into the emergency room, all hell breaks loose. And there's a huge amount of expense. And uh, what we are now doing with this is our ability with wearables. Wearable technology has improved. Most of us are wearing Fitbits and whatnots now. And so we are now able to get real-time data. And in this example, we're getting real-time data from patients. There are nurses, doctors at our back office who are monitoring this on a day-to-day -day basis. And we are able to predict when a problem can happen with this patient and provide them with more proactive services at the home so that they don't have to visit the hospital. And also prevent them doing some preemptive measures so that they don't fall ill enough to, be, to go to the emergency room. That way we are saving the insurance company money we are ensuring that the hospital hardware is better utilized. And now this will, so this is a second example. And a unique ability, I said core engineering, and you would be wondering why core engineering? How does it make a difference in this whole thing? And uh, for one of our railroad customers, you know, we, it's a freight, they, it's a freight train. And uh, they go all over the US to remote parts where in many parts there's no power. And now they want to get real time data from the trains. Now they get 
real time data when a train goes through what's called a wayside station which is let's say once in every 5 miles and so within that two way stations they don't know what's happening to the train so they want sensors which can give light data now the problem is there's no power to feed the sensors and we went to sensor manufacturers who were not able to come up with a solution so our engineering team went in and designed a sensor it's called an energy harvesting sensor what it does is it gets energy from the wobble of the trains and charges itself so we've just applied a patent for it and uh, we believe that as we go on this journey the core skills that we have in mobility analytics network uh, uh, security all these you know and sensors will 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 completely uh, you know transform businesses uh, make people live healthier lives and uh, and save money uh, to our customers so you know we are very excited about this journey and uh, through my answers you'll know why how unique tech mahindra is uh, in this digital journey and why we will play a dominant role in in transforming the way people live and work so city in the current role you're dealing with so many uh, customers across across different verticals so we would like to know how important it is to uh, stay to the core value customer focus and how do you encourage your team to do so it's a great question staying staying truly focused on core customer values you know. why don't i ask you a question what what are the rice tenets so as far as i know the rice tenets are accepting no limits um, alternate thinking and driving positive change so the rice tenets say it all you know as far we again there's lots of changes happening in our industry today there's a increasing drive from an automation perspective artificial intelligence has grown rapidly in the last 2 years than they've grown in the last decade cognitive learning robotic process automation so these are winds of change sweeping and uh, in this there are threats and there are opportunities and in this changing environment we also have to ensure that our customers interest is at heart at all times my mentor was my grandfather and he started doing business when he was 13 years old and he was a successful businessman and uh, there were two things that he said that i will always remember one is the word you give is more important than any document you will ever sign and the second thing he said was if you give a check and it bounces you're as good as dead and uh, it goes you know all customer relationship you have to deliver world class service you have to anticipate your customers business trends and then also anticipate what kind of problems they're going to face in the future or what kind of opportunities they're going to get and then you should be able to provide services that will make them successful but at the core of this whole thing is what we build on our rice tenets and creating that trusted relationship with the customer that's the that's the foundation on which you do rest of the building so let us talk let me give you one example let's talking talk about automation what ought, uh, the low end 30% of jobs will get automated earlier things that were done manually will now be replaced by robotics by automation and uh, what does that mean to us we've been working with fortune 1000 customers we manage their systems and we get revenues because the low end 30% of work is also done by us and is revenue generating for us today what we are doing now we've formed a center of excellence with george mundaseri as the head and uh, that team has come up with an entire suite of solutions from an automation perspective what we are now doing is we are going to each of our customers because we have knowledge of our customer systems we are voluntarily going back and telling them where all can be automated how all can be save money and uh, this is ironically going to hurt our business a bit because we're going to lose revenue but i have always believed and if you look at our rice tenets and and compare it with what i'm saying you'll understand the context one never loses by making your customer more efficient you create trust you go higher up in the thought leadership chain and that will drive a lot of new business so the digital wave is going to bring us a lot of new business right and so when we do the rest of it right you earn you know you create entry barriers to competition and uh, so we looking at this we want to do the right things for the customer and uh, this is one example 
we are continuously investing in emerging technologies. For example, in the digital side of things, uh, we lacked a consulting angle where you need high-end consultants who could talk about customer transformation, customer experience transformation. So we bought a company called Bio. It's a UK-based company, uh, an award-winning company who specializes in customer transformation uh, kind of initiatives. And so with Bio now there with us and the entire suite of services that TechM offers, we are able to approach a chief marketing officer and provide them with solutions that will help them win in their marketplace that will transform the way they do business. So we are making, we are de creating centers of excellence for artificial intelligence, for automation. Uh, we are buying companies like Bio, which fill in gaps that where we didn't have expertise. And we're bringing all of this together to take this to our customer and ensure that we exceed their expectations. So as long as we keep doing what is right for the customer, we can never go wrong. So finally, CTL, what will be your message for all our tech mighties? Well, you know, change is everywhere. Change is in the air right now. And uh, whenever change happens, there is risk, there is an element of threat, and also opportunity. At this stage, my message to all the tech mighties would be, many times people say in situations like this, they ask people to act like adults, to be mature. I would like to say that we should be like children because children adapt to change faster. And uh, that is how we should be. We should be curious, we should be excited, we should embrace change, and uh, we have all the assets uh, that is needed to, to come out uh, as winners in this, in this whole dig digital revolution that's sweeping. And uh, we have 110,000 tech mighties all over the globe. If we put our minds to it, if we deploy all the assets that we have discussed during this interview, there is no force on earth that can stop us. It was a pleasure talking to you, CTL. Thank you very much. Our pleasure was entirely mine. Thank you. That was Lakshmanan Chidambaram, Senior Vice President, Sales and Operations at Tech Mahindra. Catch you at the next edition of Live, Work, Play the Tech M Wave. This is Anchata signing off now. Have a great day.